All right. Before we get started with this next segment, you guys might want to get on the phone with your psychiatrist and set up a, a session because you're going to need it after this one. We're about to get into the mind of a maniac, the guy that created the Recon G6. Um, I want to introduce everybody to Brian Parker. Let's start with a question uh, that everybody asks. Um, where did Recon G6, the name, come from? I'm all about giving props to the scale scene uh, and also the Wonder Woman scene, which I came out of. So the... If you know anything about the Camel Trophy uh, challenge way back in the day, it was awesome. They uh, they went away, came back as the G4 something, and I thought, you know what? I'm not real big on on just copying the Wonder Woman world. I really like to have my own flavor to it. So we went G6. G6 is a lifestyle. Uh, Recon Crawlers was already uh, doing their thing, rocking the NorCal, the uh, Northern Nevada scene, hardcore. So Recon G6 stepped into the scale scene, and here we are three years, three years later on one of the uh, fastest growing shows on YouTube. So guys, I'm, I'm honored. So speaking of Recon Crawlers, you're really known for your courses. Where did that start? Well, hold on. First, I'd like to think that my screen name's Driving MF, and I'm known for my driving. Having the courses just is like a side benefit because I can see lines in my sleep. As a matter of fact, I've been known to drive the Rubicon like this. <laughs> uh, that's just how we roll. I've been course setting ever since 2006, and it's just something that comes natural for me. And I, I, it's, I'm honored that so many people not only get challenged, but they have a lot of fun. And it just doesn't come on a whim. There is a, a method to my madness. The screen name, Driving MF, where does it come from? Well, if you ask Nevada DMV, I'm a golfer in my spare time, so that's driving in the middle of the fairways. But it was actually, it actually came from the Wonder One world. I've, I started wheeling a 95 Jeep Wrangler. I experimented with a Suzuki Samurai with Toyota axles. That gave me a little bit of, of, toy, of taste for Toyota. Mm -hmm. And then I, I discovered Chevy-powered Toyotas because that 22-hour motor, we all know, just, you know, but a Chevy-powered automatic Toyota, we were a done deal. Geared by Toyota, powered by Chevy, driven by a Jeeper. Hey, I'll go anywhere I want to go. How did you get started into RC crawling? Like, what was your first rig and how, how did you... Really? Are you, are you kidding me? This is how I got started, dude. Look look around the Rebus Concepts garage. Now, I've got it. There's there's rigs. Hey, Y'all can't see what I see. There's rigs. There's parts everywhere. And, and it just grabs your attention. That's how I got started in RC. We're playing a little Walmart cars, kind of similar to this guy. But he's battery, they were battery powered. So they weren't even radio controlled. No, they weren't even radio controlled. And I know this is hard to believe, but... I kind of do things excessively, no, but on a small scale. So we had about 260 feet, square feet of rock garden built on the back patio. And, and every section was themed. So we took these little battery powered cars and you turn it, you'd get a little cone, put the cone down to the car on. And as long as the car went from concrete to concrete, it was a full pull. But, and then you had to follow mine. If you didn't make it, it didn't matter if it went in six inches, it came back to full to the concrete, it was a full pull. But if you didn't make it, then you got a letter, S. And we played stuck. So it was like horse. Oh, cool. So you got stuck, and then you're out. If you broke, you're out. If your battery died, you're out, because you couldn't replace batteries. And when you have nine grown men laying on the concrete, beating on the concrete at 2 in the morning, cheering for battery-powered cars, <laughs> you knew you were onto something. And then it just, the nylons came out. Uh, and and I, I really was a, a RC virgin, if you will. They used to have a nylon board. And I was blowing the nylon board up because we were having fun. And everyone's like, oh, what are these? These are toys. These are, you know, from, from Club W. You can't, these aren't real radio control cars. I was like, well, what do you mean? I've got a controller. It's got a little steering wheel. I can pull this and it goes forward and backwards. Uh, to me, it's radio control. And point. we had 40, I think about 48 drivers, wow. 17 degrees in northern Nevada, because y'all, 
Y'all, y'all burn up down here in Las Vegas. Wow. Uh, 17 degrees. Northern Nevada, a little place called Moon Rocks. Couple fires going, and we're all crawling with nylons. And that's really how I got started. I'm gonna give you a Vegas Concepts Garage an exclusive. Oh, really? An exclusive. Are you ready for this? Everything batting down the hatches. <laughs> I know you guys are builders. This is the first time you've had a driver in the garage. So I'm, I'm reaching out to all the drivers out there. 2014. Hold on. Point series. Hold on. Leading up to a national event. National. National event. Geared for the drivers of scale RC. Do you like to drive lines? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. That's... Hey, do you like that adrenaline rush when you're driving right on the edge of, of insanity? That's what it's all about, man. Yeah. All right. Do you like to drive lines? Because uh, what I'm bringing to you, RC scale enthusiasts, RC scale drivers that are looking for that uh, that adrenaline rush, that, that competitiveness. Because you keep in mind, it's not for everybody. Uh, the Recon G6 is for everybody, I mean, and that family is huge. This event coming up is geared for the competitive-minded, for the drivers that really just thrive. That that competitive gene is embedded in their uh, in their bodies, unlike like mine. I mean, I just I'm, I'm I love being competitive. Uh, I just love driving. But after all, it's in the screen name. <laughs> 2014, we've got a NorCal series. We got a SoCal series. We have a Nevada series. And all that's going to accumulate to the top drivers in NorCal, the top drivers in SoCal, the top drivers in Nevada, Arizona. Hold on. You tards, you can come over here to Vegas because uh, there's going to be a stop in Vegas. Parker. Elite driving challenge. Wow. wow. Coming to the rocks near you. So, um, why don't you tell us about your title sponsor? 2014 title sponsor is Axial Racing. It's the 2014 Axial Recon G6 Adventure Series. Nice. But I got to send some mad props for we have we have other sponsors that's on board for the year as well. That's going to be bringing uh, G6ers love throughout the. Uh, the 2014 season, one of them, Pool Pal. Um, the RW60 is back. It is the uh, official land acre of the Recon G6, as is Axial Racing. The official, the SX10 lineup is the official truck of the Recon G6. Mm -hmm. We also have back for 2014, if you've never met Fast Eddie. Uh, you're in for a treat because this man eats, sleeps, breathes RC. And he's a driver, so him and I are like peas in a pod. Uh, team Fast Teddy Bearings, the official bearing of the Recon G6, uh, is going to be bringing you action uh, in 2014 as well. Um, so we're excited. We're he, excited. And he, he actually has the upgrade kit for the servo for Axial. The. Um, the stock Axial Servo is really kind of a, uh, a, a surprise in the servo box. It's got really decent power, torque racing ratio. It's quick. Fast Eddie has come out with the upgrade bearing for that servo, which tightens it up, hardly ever wears out, and it makes that thing work like a champ. So RTR guys out there, RTR gals out there, because uh, we do have some Recon G6 driving divas that know how to put rubber to rock. Uh, upgrade to the Fast Teddy Bearings uh, upgrade kit for your stock axial servo. You said the SCX10 lineup is the official rig for the, the Recon G6, right? Oh, uh, yes, I did. Isn't there something cool coming out that everybody is just drooling for? Well, you know that lineup consists of the Dingo, the Honcho, and now... You can add this to the list. The Axial Jeep Wrangler G6, which, hold on a second. I got a little weak knee. Because this is, look, I'm an RC fan. People that know me know, I ask people for autographs because I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, I am such a fan. Uh, so to have 
a rig with with you know really an event that's uh, that's my brainchild and this thing's recon G6 certified. It's just surreal. It's such a it's, a, it's humbling. It's surreal. I just I really don't believe it. And another shameless plug here. RCCrawler.com. I have a build thread going because everyone knows wrenching MF is not my name. Driving MF, but I am I am uh, going in depth. Okay, I'm going like pretty in depth <laughs> on how I'm putting this rig together, and I've got some really mad mad surprises. I might even surprise you guys here at Reeves Concepts Garage. Oh, we'll be looking for that. Yeah, definitely. Recon G6, Facebook, Instagram. Hey, yeah, if uh, Recon G6, we have uh, .com, Facebook page, follow please, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, look, sub, follow, share, comment, and uh, real, real quick guys, uh, Axial's been a, I've been a team driver for Axial going on seven years now, so I just gotta give some mad props to uh, the Axial family, uh, Jeff Johns, Matt Kearney, Rodney Wills, Brad Bender, Dumont, the OG himself, uh, Brandon Coons, hey, get well, brother, yeah, he got laid up on a mountain bike accident, some roadie T-boning, but that's for another show, <laughs> and um, Scott G, another driver, another personal friend that uh, is a good driver, uh, rocks a uh, Subaru. WXB 12 something, I don't know. He, he drives it so fast, I can't read it. But, yeah, he's cool. He's a cool cat, too. So, thanks, Axel. I love you guys. And uh, for you uh, RC enthusiasts, you're going to love this rig. It comes uh, right out of the box or right out of the kit uh, with dovetail. So, the rear end is dovetail. Uh, I'm going to throw on some rear steer. The uh, aluminum links. It has uh, one of the coolest cages and light bars I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, uh, I might get uh, get froggy with it and even add a snorkel just because, you know, I'm snorkely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not to mention poison spider bumper. Dude, what? Yeah. And Icon Shocks. Now, I run Icon Shocks on my axial base. Well, not my axial base. Jeep JK Unlimited. And those Icon shocks, I drive the tar out of. Um, they uh, hold oil phenomenal. They work phenomenal. Um, I can't tell you what oil I run because, you know, I'm a tuner. That's my secret. I got to look good on film because Lord <laughs> knows uh, I already look good everywhere else I drive. But, no, the Icon shocks work great. And all the, uh, the professional business partners on there are phenomenal. Hey Parker, tell everybody where they can follow you. You can follow me uh, personally, Driving MF, uh, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit. Is there any social media that you're not on? You know what? No. And uh, <laughs> I, I'm even on Snapchat. Uh, speaking of, of social media, Recon G6 has a killer brand new website, ReconG6.com. It was put together by Dominic Longoria. Dominic Longoria. The cat's got skills uh, when it comes to uh, this kind of stuff and making a computer do fancy things. It was cool. It was real cool. So, uh, mad shout out to uh, to Dom. RC Funk Child on Facebook. Check him out. Yes. Uh, follow him. Uh, hit him up. He does flyers for your events, uh, and he can go from mild to wild. That's why I like Dom Funk Child. So, uh, what can we look forward to finding on the website? Oh, uh, on the website, uh, the most important thing is it gives you a one-stop shop for all the 2014 Axial Recon G6 Adventure Series events. If you're looking forward to going to an event that's in November, you can go already and, and pre-register for that. Because uh, this year we definitely uh, have benefits for G6ers and future G6ers to, to pre-register, such as commemorative ID badges. Nice. Sometimes they call them uh, Credential. credentials. Nice. You know, ID badges is French for credentials. <laughs> and uh, we have t-shirts in the swag area 
T-shirts that will be event specific. Uh, if you pre-register, you're going to get those T-shirts at a huge savings. What about products? Oh, products is in the swag bag. We're going to have official Recon G6 products coming out. Nice. Uh, we're really excited about the, the 2014 year. And really, it's made possible by your viewers uh, and G6ers that watch your guys' show. We just had a uh, Recon G6 not too long ago in the Las Vegas area. Mm -hmm. It was a scale house rock. The props to uh, Las Vegas scale crawlers. The Las Vegas scale scene is huge and blowing up. Oh, so yeah. uh, they, those guys can go to the website, find gear. Anybody around the world can go to the website and find gear. Please nice. do. As a matter of fact, you can get them from anywhere in the world. Even Austria. www.recong6.com. I'm Parker. It's been an honor. These two guys here uh, are speechless, but I love them. Watch their show. Mad props to Axial. Uh, they're going to make me look great in 2014 with the new Jeep Wrangler G6. I'm looking forward to driving it. Uh, I had a quick question. Can you guys at Revis Concept Garage help make this look any greater? <laughs> uh, we can. Actually, I think I got you on this. Watch this. I told you you had to show me how to do that, man. What? What are you doing? Man, I told you. What? <laughs> I'm That's telling you. you do it. Hold on. I can't hear you. I got Miss Jimmy flying the earphones. Hey, I'm Parker. I just want to thank everyone again at Rivas Concepts Garage. It truly has been an honor. I want to thank uh, our sponsors for 2014 Axle Racing. Pool Pal, Fast Teddy Bearings. Um, remember, I'm Parker, driving MF. On the inside, I'm six foot eight. On the outside, I'm five seven with a mustache. <laughs>